Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are supposed to be getting some major storms here in New Jersey. So I decided to just make it a quick morning and go down to Milford, New Jersey and check out Alan's Antiques. We have been here before in another video, um, but he continuously gets new items. So I figured we'll come down, see what we can find and hopefully find some things for myself and some things for the shop. So let's go. So at Allen's Antiques, there's actually three shops and usually I do hit up an the Annex first. This particular shop just has more of the items that I could resell at my store. Like this really cute little spice canister set. And even the doll furniture that it's sitting on is adorable. While I was looking around, I found a cherry plate that matched the cherry goblet I got a few weeks back at one of my customer's grandmother's houses. I didn't get the plate, but I did think it was cute. So the Annex has a little bit of something for everyone. There's these beer steins, there was little model ships. As you could see, there was a ton of glassware, even clothing. This was so unique. I didn't even ask a price on it and I called them the following day, um, but I think I was calling before their store actually opened. I thought it was really unique. I've never seen anything like it. It was really cool though. I am a sucker for these white pitchers. They actually sell very well in the shop. I found this great piece of Polish pottery, but unfortunately there was a really big chip in it. This blue and white dishes, they're really popular right now, so I did stop to take a look at them. I just did not feel the energy to grab a whole bunch of pieces, but I have a really cute little coffee bar at my house, and I decided to grab the one that did say coffee. I switched out the lids because the other lib lid had some chips on it. I thought this little set was adorable, but that too had a bunch of chips. I'm on a serious lamp kick for some reason. I just keep picking up lamps and my spot in my own store, I feel like it's a lighting store now. It's not even a antique vintage shop. Thought that was cute with the little pressed flowers. This little piece unfortunately had a crack. And this was a great little frame with the butterflies.
thought that was a cute little salt and pepper shaker, but I did not get it. I know these mugs are really popular right now, but there was a little damage on the mug, so I did leave it. Next, we went across the street into Alan's main building. Alan had a whole bunch of these little figures, and I kind of went a little crazy for a minute. little koi's and chicken. They usually sell very well in the shop. And I ended up putting back those little pots with the flowers in them. Not for any particular reason, but then I found this guy. I thought he was so cool. A little donkey with a sombrero planter. As you can see, Alan has so much stuff to go through. It really is a amazing picking place. And his prices are awesome. You can really find anything and he is very fair, very reasonable. He even has a kitty cat, but he did not make an appearance for the video. So this shop is a house that you can see there's little bedrooms and he kind of has them laid out. You know, this one would be more feminine. There's a lot of like sewing type things and very just feminine feel in this room. while this other room next door is a little kid's room. So it helps when he does get his items to be able to put them in certain areas and make it look like a home. And this little sewing kit thing was adorable, but I almost tipped the whole thing over, so I left that beat. And then I found a box of these really awesome skates. I probably should have grabbed them. I think that they would have sold pretty well in the shop. They were all really clean, and there was a whole bunch of them. All right guys, so we just got back from Allen's and the storm did come through. Um, it was not nearly as bad as they had guessed it was going to be. Um, they were talking tornado warnings and severe weather and really we didn't get anything. It's, it's still raining a little bit right now, but not anything like they had projected. So um, we're gonna go over our haul of what we got at Allen's. And unfortunately, while I was recording at Allen's, my memory ran out on my phone and I did not get everything that I wanted to get footage wise of showing you guys shopping at Allen's. Um, but that's all right because I did get a really awesome haul and I can't wait to show you guys. 
So to start my little haul, here is that little donkey with the sombrero planter. Got this cute little tray. I'm not sure what it is, but I have to look up that maker's mark on the back. It was very fragile. There's your little cloison chicken. He's a little dirty. He probably needs to get cleaned up. And then this really sweet little Victorian looking woman occupied Japan. So this fooled me guys. I thought this was a really interesting piece. Um, I'm gonna show you it in the sunlight and you could see like strips of like black through the glass. It ended up being an Avon piece, but for whatever reason, when I was in the store, I could not see the bottom. They still sell pretty well on eBay, but it fooled me. I got some really cute vintage rings. That circle one might not be vintage, but the wood one I thought was, had some vintage vibes at least. <laughs> and then this cool little kitchen gadget. Maybe like a pastry cutter or I don't know. And the caddy was awesome. You could put some like a little herb garden in there or whatever you want. So I got two of these milk bottles. This one was from Easton, Pennsylvania, which is right down the road from me and my shop. Um, the other one I did already put inside my house at this point because I was keeping one. These were really cute little add-on charms for a necklace of seashells. I thought this piece was really pretty. A little yellow wear. And this is something very popular right now. This is just an Asian inspired, I'm not really sure where it's from, any markings, nothing, but I love the paint, the picture on it. Very pretty flowers and nice colors. And this is an adorable little wood trivet. I did grab that from that blue and white section in the store. These were really cute. People that shop at my store love these little things. You just put them out for like $3 and they make somebody happy. And there's that photo frame again. Another little animal. So pretty. And these were all of the spice containers. I did grab a cheese box that they were sitting in, um, but the cheese box actually <laughs> was falling apart. So it was something to hold them all with, but that cheese box needs some help. So yeah, I believe there are eight of these. I don't know if that's a complete set. I'm sure we're missing some, but they were really cute. And then I got this awesome rice basket. I did grab those two yellow dishes with the flowers on them. They're really fun for spring and summer, just a great color. And this would be perfect for Easter. It's a little soap dish that has these three little bunnies on it. Very sweet. And this was an awesome find. Oh my god, I was so excited. These are really popular right now as well. Here is my blue and white coffee jug. This awesome vase. 
I found this exact one on eBay and it was selling for about $50, which I'm really excited. I don't think I paid more than six for it. And this was probably a modern piece, but it was a little candle holder. It actually looks great next to the vase. I got a pair of stools. These were so cool, guys. They do go up in height, and then you would just lock the mechanism so they won't, you know, fall back down. And I got this really cool shelf. I had to find a dry spot in the driveway to put it down. But it's a really great blue and green color, and it has some folk art design on the sides. I'm most likely going to use that for a display in the shop. But of course, I'll put a price tag on it in case somebody's interested. So this is my awesome haul, guys. Allen's Antiques never disappoints. I pretty much could go there weekly and still get just as much stuff because they are continuously getting new stuff. I'm so happy with my haul. Oh, really good stuff this week. And that butterfly frame. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel.